Greetings. My name is Morisalata Mohammed, and I am using Lightboard technology for the very first time, so bear with me. Today's mini mini lecture is going to be about a learning experience I had, and it's a learning experience that I like to tell my students about because even though I teach in the English department, it's not necessarily learning that you would only do, say, in an English writing class or a literature class. So it has to do with writing, but um, I think it can be applied to any type of learning you do. So I call this my left hand or non-dominant hand learning experience. And I'm going to demonstrate a couple things for you, then I'm going to tell you a little story. So So I already told you that. Um, my name is Morsalat Muhammad and I teach in the English department at Grand Rapids Community College. However, my learning experience starts a couple years ago. So I was in a bookstore and I saw a journal. I like journals. I like all kinds of journals, colorful ones, dark ones, light ones, weird kind of paper ones. And I have a whole bunch of them. So I really had no business buying another journal but I saw this journal and it was, it was beautiful. It had like a leather, beautiful leather co cover and it had a little tie on it that you can tie the cover shut. The, t the paper inside of it were, was like rough and thick and kind of jagged edged. It wasn't just a regular brown. It was sort of like the color of a pecan shell. So not one solid color brown, but kind of gradations of it. And I wanted that journal. Uh, but I also knew if I bought that journal, that meant that would probably be for me journal number like 22 or 23. And I haven't used all my journals. So I needed a reason because that's all we really need, right? To buy something is a good reason. So I told myself I could have that journal. And, and this is what I do when I try to talk myself into something. So this is what happened. I told myself, I said, So I told myself, you can buy this journal if you only write in it with your left hand. So that's what I did. And I bought the journal and yay me, I got another journal. Um, and I kept this promise to myself. I only wrote in it using my left hand and it was horrible beyond belief, horrible writing. And oftentimes I wanted to stop, but I remember mm, my deal with myself. So over the days and weeks and months, <laughs> my handwriting got less ugly and more legible. But here's the learning part. What I, I had noticed is that the struggle of writing with my non-dominant hand, my left hand, actually made me pay attention more to the things that I wrote. Um, so if I were taking notes for um, in class or in a meeting, I only wrote the words that are really important. So writing with my non-dominant hand, in this case, my left hand, I wrote fewer words and I paid attention more. 
I think what happened to my learning process is I went from my dominant hand, which was all automatic writing, and hopefully you can see the difference between legibility with my right hand writing, which is my dominant hand here. I don't really have to think. I can just record stuff and write as I go along. And then my left hand, my non-dominant handwriting, there's a, that, for me, there's a clear difference between how easy this is to read versus my dominant hand. And plus, if you look at my dominant hand here, I write in something called cursive. That's when you take print and you put it together with cursive writing. So here, for example, I have the M and the, the M by itself, and I have U and R together, and I have S-A-L together, and I have this ATA together, weirdly, sort of. And if you look at my word English, I have the E and the N in print, the G and the L together, a dot for an I, the S and the H, they're all individual. So, yeah. But here, so this is where the learning comes in. Um, this, was, this was a challenge, and, but now I know that when I want to pay attention, when I am in the process of learning, I have to switch from automatic pilot to manual pilot. And so that's what I want to invite you to as a student or just as a lifelong learner, is that if we find ourselves struggling with new material, all right, how, what are we doing? Are we using our old automatic pilot way trying to get some new information? Or are we stopping ourselves and switching to our non-dominant hand and working through it and going manual, which means it's a different way to learn. Um, we may not be able to use the ways we learned before, even if it was just a last semester or just last month when your job sent you to a training and you learned that stuff easily. Um, maybe you, we actually have to do something different. And that's what I'm gonna invite you to in the learning process. It doesn't make a difference if you're learning writing in my class or if you're in Professor Salmon's class with um, Math 107 looking at algebra or you're in um, Professor Brand's class with business law um, or ethics course or Professor Maurer's British literature. It's not necessarily always the content. It's probably a combination of are we expecting automatic pilot to work with something new? So my left hand lesson here, learning lesson, or the, the non-dominant hand lesson is push yourself to try a new learning behavior, a technique or a style, and don't abandon it just because you don't understand it. I mean, I had this whole journal to fill until it started to make sense. Um, so in the learning process, in everyday life, or in a college setting, Look for more ways to learn. Don't always be comfortable with your dominant way. That's it. Thank you.